Thanks, Lewis. Now, um, well, beer drinkers will know this, that the industry is changing. Global brands are in decline, and a new generation of small brewers are taking their place. There are now 1,600 of them in the UK, with 200 opening each year, many of them here in the South. Most of them want quality hops for their beer, which is leading to a revival in hop growing in the UK. But with demand so high, one brewery near Farnham in Surrey has began growing its own. James Ingham reports. Hops, a key ingredient of beer. They give it its bitterness, but also its flavour and aroma. So getting hold of the best is important for breweries. To guarantee its supply, Hogsback Brewery is growing its own. Matthew, you've been looking after these hops all season. They're nearly ready to harvest, I believe. They are, yes, almost a few, just a few days away from harvest now and so on. As you can see, the cone is now developing to a decent size um, and it's also giving off a splendid aroma, which um, we can predominantly find out if you just give it a little rub there uh, to crush the petal, expose the seeds, and if you ever smell... It's lovely, isn't it? It's divine, yes. It's a very subtle, subtle smell, but it works very well, particularly with ales and beers. Like many independent beer makers, Hogsback brewers are using more hops as they strive to produce distinctive so-called craft beers. I've always been interested in, in hops and all the ingredients anyway as a brewer, but particularly how you use them, how much you use and the way of using them to get the most out of them has been really interesting. And obviously having the hop garden has been, been fantastic as well, so using your own hops to get the style of beer you want has been really, really, you know, it's been really uh, nice to have as a brewer. Well, the variety of hop being grown here has been revived. It was commonly grown around here near Farnham around 100 years ago and then died away. And it was the idea of the brewery's owner here, Rupert Thompson, to, uh, to bring it back. Rupert, why did you want to do that? I suppose there were three things, James. First is, I, I was really keen to go and make sure that as a local brewer, we were getting as local an ingredient as we could. It's 100 yards to the brewery, brew house, that's pretty local. The second thing is, this area of Farnham's had a great long tradition of hop growing and we wanted to revive it. And we wanted to revive it with one hop in particular, which was the Farnham White Band, because that was a foundation of Farnham's fortunes. And so the third reason we're doing this is because there is a big demand for hops at the moment. By growing our own, we're in control of our own supply. So we ought to taste it then, shouldn't yeah, we? Water, really. And in this bottle are hops that you harvested last year, your first crop. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we're trying each year, we will brew a certain amount. Uh, there's only 900 plants so it is actually going to be a limited brew um, but uh, uh, it's worth it absolutely and you're finding your customers are uh, appreciating it cheers cheers good health thank you it is very nice very nice thanks very much for the uh, the tour of the uh, the farm here in the brewery this afternoon pleasure um, well Anybody who's interested in beer and interested in beer making is welcome to come to a party that's being organised here as this harvest, as this crop is harvested in a couple of weeks later in September. For now, back to you. James, enjoy the rest of your evening. I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> It looks very Cheers. good. I love this idea of sort of artisan brewers mm, yeah. and small companies doing Seeing this themselves. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great stuff. Mm. On 